everyone. Welcome back to Stationeer's Venus. Uh, last episode I was filling the greenhouse with hydroponic trays. I haven't finished yet. I think I need another 30, what was the number? 30 something. Um, I'll make 31 just to be safe. I can't. I need iron. Oh, there's iron. Cool. Um, I'm about to melt ice and stick water into my greenhouse. So that's the plan. Um, if I process this, I don't know. Um, I'm not even going to bother. If I haven't, I haven't. Who cares? Let's just get stuff done. My waste tanks are in trouble. My oxygen tank's about to run out. Do I have anything in here? Critical. Yeah, yeah. Air tank critical. I'll, I'll swap that out now. So I don't forget. Okay, just the trace amounts caused by the valve pyre, the valve bug. I can hear the clinking of my hydroponics there. Let's get all this in. I... Oh, it's too late. I was going to check my oxygen levels for it, my oxygen temperature very soon, but honestly, too cold is fine. Um, that's perfectly fine if it's too cold. So I was just checking on my arc furnace just then. Uh, yeah, we'll chuck all this in. Even if it's negative 50, I don't... Uh, it doesn't matter if my oxygen gets too cold. It's too hot that I have the trouble with. So uh, we'll, we'll grab all those. We'll go check on my oxygen since I've got an empty oxygen tank and I want to fill it. Uh, one of my filters is about to die as well. In fact, it just died. So uh, I need to replace that. So there's uh, quite a bit of housekeeping to do before uh, before I get to, the, get to the meat of this episode. 20 degrees. Yeah, I want cold oxygen temperatures. And cold I shall have. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know what it'll drop it to. Um, you know, 15 is good. 15, yeah, that's good. In fact, I, I want even less than 15 to balance out that. But that's okay. If I chuck this in here now, that's on. Good. It should slowly cool as the colder oxygen mixes with the hotter oxygen. Oh, and I'm dying of thirst as well. Okay, so I'm going to need to deal with that problem. All good, all good. I'm uh, just filling this up. I, I don't really want to babysit this, but the temperature should slowly go down. I, c I could run off and do stuff. Get that filter really quick. Well, I can at the very least put this in here. Um, hello, hydroponics. I'll deal with you in a second. I want a filter. Filter, carbon dioxide. Here we go. I uh, that's, that's, what, 19? Oh, yeah, that's all my iron. I think i got two left, yeah. Uh, chuck this in here. Go back, let's sort out that oxygen. And, yeah, a megapascal is 19.9 degrees. That's fantastic. In fact, I'm going to put this in here. Uh, this should slowly drop. So it started off high because uh, it was already high. It's mixing with this. And this 15 is flooding into here, cooling this down, which should cool this down right up until the point it hits 8. And then I'll take it out. Yeah, thank you. Okay, oxygen sorted. Waste tanks emptied. Let's close this valve. Let's get my battery. I can see that's at 42. This battery is full, honestly, so I can do that right now. Okay, all the housekeeping out of the way. That, that iron's done. Let's get another stack on. I want uh, 30, 30 something, 30 is safe, I'll get 31, 31 should be safe as well, because I remember it was 30 something, I can't remember what, I think it was 32 or 33, I, I don't know, um, yeah, those five can go, okay, so we're getting close, we're getting close to the actual goal of this episode, which is to melt some ice, is there any stuff in my furnace, there is. So I need to uh, I need to evacuate this furnace. I probably should have done that right at the very start. That should have been the first thing I did, was evacuated the furnace. In fact, you can flood straight into the vacuum room. Oh, that that was empty. I think my um, valve fixed itself. One, two, three, four, five. What are we up to now? Twenty-four. Getting close. Getting close. And yeah, we can. Once this uh, furnace is evacuated. It's going to take a while. Then we're ready. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to start getting this stuff out of the way. I, I, I want to put communications up, but I don't really have the steel to spare. I could probably put a, a line down here, but that's about it. What, what is that? One, two, three, four. 
four steel frames. Okay, I'll do that right now. I got steel in here. 48 steel. Oh gosh. I've used up all my steel. It's okay, it's okay. Now another big problem I'm going to have is this line here is a major problem. And this is going to be in the way. Honestly, I'm going to move these machines over to here. How many have I built? One. I'm going to move these machines to here and I'm going to have a wall that goes along here. Probably with an airlock right here where the weather station is. I probably want that battery right here. So all this logic has to be ripped up. So I've got a, a lot of moving stuff around. Um, so the main, the main objective of this episode is to water my furnace and finish the hydroponics off. Um, that iron's probably done by now. It is. So last stack. Let's get in there. Main, main objective is to fill the, finish the hydroponics and fill it with water. But the secondary um, goal that I have for this episode is to pave the way for setting up my communications. I want my communications up and running next episode. So uh, that's my plan. The furnace evacuated yet? Still going, still going. It's taking its time. Is that set to... Oh, this is a pressure regulator. Okay. What about this? What's this? That sets volume pump 100 litres. It's good. Um, that's just a caution. Health, low. Health, oh yeah, water. If, uh, I should have lots of water on me. I don't. Okay, so this is the thing that's going on here. I need to get this... When I do this ice run and I get in there... I'm going to also have to uh, replace those water bottles and drink. And I just realized something. That's not hooked up to power. Oh, oh God. Okay, okay. Um, I wanted to race in there and immediately stick water in because that's when it'll be at its coldest before it heats up too much. Uh, so I also have to hook up all these cables first. I can do one of them from out here. The rest of them I have to do from inside the, first, inside the room. So when I melt the ice and I'm ready to rush into the room, I'll rush into the room, hook up the cables, stick the water into the room there, then I'll do the drinking. So I, I'm under, if I, if I, if I don't want to risk putting extra air, um, hot air into my, into my greenhouse, this is done now, if I want to, don't want to stick into my watershed, if I want to stick extra hot air into my watershed, then, um, and I want to do all this in one hit, then I've got to be quick, because I've only got 69% health left. Uh, so, we'll get one more hydroponic tray. Actually, this doesn't need to be on me. Oh, but that does need to be on me. Um, I can only carry one more. Um, can I... Let's make the steel sheets. Let, let's shove these down. Creates a bit of room. Um, this line here is mainly so I don't fall off the edge. In fact... Oh, God, not now. Um, this little furnace area, this cupboard, this cupboard is in the way. I kind of want it back a little bit, just a little bit. So I want to stick a frame there as well. Uh, yeah, I'm running out of steel. I want to stick a frame. Oh, I haven't filled these in yet. Oh God. Uh, I, I want to push this cupboard back and I want to do something with, uh, I mean, it's actually pretty good where it is. I just don't like the fact that the entry spot is here. I actually want to just turn it around 90 degrees. And this beacon, honestly, is going to go all the way over here in front of what will be my new door. So it'll sit, like, right there. Blah. Landing pad goes there. I don't... I need a lot of steel sheets. Oh, gosh. Do I have enough steel? Yeah, I do. Steel sheets cost half each. Steel sheets. So you guys just pump those out for now. Um, furnace, are you evacuated? Let's, let's have a look. Yeah. Yes, it is. Good. Now, uh, I'm going to want to turn this off to begin with. I'm going to leave that on. I want my nitrogen to rush straight into the uh, into the chill room immediately. I'm holding uh, a welder in my hand because I'm just going to grab these and weld them straight away. It's a lot to weld. Um, my, I'm really worried about my steel. I don't, I don't want to have to waste oxygen on another steel run. I want to do it all in one hit. Steel, Constantan, Invar, get, get those alloys, and a bunch of steel all in one hit. Let's get one more of these and see how we stand. 
Um, now I'm going to have to make more. I'm just afraid of making too many because my steel supplies are very low. Okay, so the communications landing pad is going here. I am running out of health. I shouldn't be doing this right now. I need, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one there, plus probably one there as well, just to make an even number. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight steel sheets, and two steel frames. I've got enough of that. Oh, God. Eight steel sheets, two steel frames. Stick sh six steel sheets. One, two, four more steel sheets to go. One, two, two. Hopefully. Ah! Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. I got caught then. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. And two steel frames. One there, one there. Um, oh gosh, I'm having space problems. I'm running out of life. Uh, this is going wrong. Okay, no, I, I should be fine. The ice melting is very, very quick. I should, uh, I should have plenty of time. That 48% health is going to take a long time to go down, so it's not, not an issue. Worst case scenario, I charge into the room real quick and drink water, so it's not it's not terrible. Do I have any water in the cupboard? Didn't I keep one water bottle in the cupboard? I might have a water. I might be doing all this for nothing. No, I don't. Where am I storing? Oh, I'm holding two water bottles on me now. Oh, God, okay. I just wasted a bunch of time. Uh, there's, there's time. I, I should have no problem getting all this done, to be honest. I'm, I'm pre-panicking. I want to. I want to get this, uh, this stuff all drilled up. I know I'm wasting more time. Okay. I just don't like dirt going through frame. I actually want to dig under there. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Um. Do it later. Just get get all this off here for now, and then then I then I'll have a bit more space to work with. Okay. Let, let's get this ice done. Let's get this ice done, and uh, we'll move all this stuff later, because my life is getting low, 42%. Uh, oxygen's fine. Waste tanks are not fine. Honestly, I, I don't mind if my my oxygen is ridiculously cold, so I'm going to uh, stick this in here now. I just don't want to have a waste tank problem at the wrong time. Okay. I... I count to 11 now. When I, when I put those in, I count to 11 in my head. Oxygen's racing down like crazy. Okay, we're ready to do this. Uh, we need the volume pump on uh, so that the water goes in there straight away. Now, the water's going to be going through this pipe and heating up the furnace. I'll be sticking ice in, which will be cooling it down. The water will be heating it up. I, I probably... I don't know if I want this pressure regulator on or not. I don't know if I want the nitrogen instantly flooding out. I probably don't, actually. I probably don't. Okay, tablet in hand. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get this done. And, yep, furnace evacuated. And let's chuck some ice in. The first lot, as usual, I'll have to activate. I only have to activate one. And the rest should the rest should melt on their own. So, let's go. It's only 12 ice. It shouldn't take long. Do I have to activate more? Okay, no, I don't. Um, so, I'm putting icy cold ice in there. This will, uh, yep. So to just, I'll just charge all these things in as quickly as I can and then hit that volume pump. So last lot. I'm, I'm holding it in my hand. Here we go. Okay, that's good. Let's pump that in. Let's get this evacuated. Three degree water is going through these pipes. It's quite a lot that needs to be brought out. And hopping into here and hopefully cooling this water down ever so slightly. I might only end up with 40 degree water, but that's actually fine. If I'm sticking 40 degree water in the uh, greenhouse, it's not going to hurt me too much. Let's close that. I, yeah, I'll leave that open. I know, I'm dying. 31%. Oh, I can't wait to move this cupboard. Um, this is going to take some time to fully evacuate. 
honestly, uh, it, it's just going to get hotter and hotter because the water's going through these pipes. It's heating up to the outside atmosphere. So I should do my water stuff right now. Okay, so what do I need? I need to stick these in immediately. Okay, I'm going to rush in there, connect up the things, get the water into the room. Uh, I want to do this really quick. Let's go. don't want to let heat in unnecessarily. Whoa. Whoa, I was missing then. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's only 140 kilopascals in here. Okay, uh, let's get this in. It's going to go underneath there. Oh, I can't. Oh, gosh, okay. Uh, I went straight up. There we go. And now I want, yeah, I want that to go there. Now, I don't want to put too much water in here. I don't want to just flood this thing with water. Um, I mean, I honestly only need like 100 moles in there, to be honest. I, I found out afterwards plants don't actually use water. Uh, but I'll, just to be safe, I'll stick a good um, 1,000 moles in, so 1K moles. Now, to make sure that I don't put too much in, I actually want the, to lower this volume pump. Let's make it 10 litres. Let's get my tablet ready. I'm going to be examining this pipe here, if I can find the right spot. There it is. There's nothing in it. I'm going to hit this thing, and then I'm going to watch the pipe network. And when that gets to like 900 and, oops, uh, when it gets to like 950 or something, I'm going to turn the pipe off, like 960, 970. It's going up very slowly, like 15, 15 at a time. It's only going to take me a split second to hit that valve. So, yeah, about, about 980. When it hits 980, 975 will go for. I will uh, reach over and hopefully turn that valve off and not hit the wrong button by accident. So I'm populating my greenhouse with 43.7 degree water. That's good. That's good. It's not the 30 degrees I was hoping for, but it's it's cold enough. Okay, we're getting close now. There we go. Here we go. 970. There we go. Turn off. What did I get in there? 998. I honestly, I'm happy with that. Now there's going to be heat exchange of this pipe into here, which is annoying. It's just going to slowly heat the greenhouse up. Um, I can fix this. I don't like doing this, but I, I probably should by just removing that pipe. And now all the water in the greenhouse is cut off and there's no heat source going in. I, th I think that's the best way for me to do it. And um, if, I need to, if I want to put more in later, I can just hook the pipe back up again and, and use the volume pump. Okay, finally we can address the situation that I'm dying of thirst and drink a water bottle. I'm actually curious, before I replace my water bottles in my uniform, I'll get that open ready to go. How much water do I have? <laughs> I got over 8,000 moles of water now. I got water for months. I'm, uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm good. I got over 800 moles just in this little bit of pipe network here. I can even cut this off as well once that's emptied, just to just to isolate it and keep it in this room, and not not have heat transfer from water out there and the hot air coming in here. I mean, every time I enter this room, it's going to be annoying because hot air is going to rush in and heat it up a little bit more. I mean, hot water's fine. You can drink 400 degree water. I honestly shouldn't care anymore. The watershed has served its purpose, but I would like to have like uh, like a shelf, like a you know, um, not an entire locker, one of those small lockers or a couple of shelves of water bottles ready to go so I don't have to come in here as often. This is actually a nice place to just stand and chill because it's only, it's only 99 degrees in here. You know, I say only 99 degrees. It's only boiling in here, but it's a lot better than the 463 degrees out there. So anyway, we'll just get, uh, get to these water bottles filled up. I'm going to come back in here uh, at a later time when I have my water shelf set up. I've chosen its location and uh, I've got I've got it ready. I'll make a whole pile of water bottles and I'll, I'll fill them all up in here and I'll, I'll create like a, a water shelf so I don't have to come in here as often. I'll put it in the most convenient location I can find. Okay, so that's it for the water room. The water in here is uh, about 45 oh, degrees. God. The temperature in here is 92 and dropping. The pressure in here is only 118 kilopascals and dropping. It's not going to drop to 38. If it dropped below 38, these windows would burst, but it's not going to drop that low, surely. It, it should equalize out. Water changes, especially a lot of water, will change temperature very, very slowly. 
uh, atmosphere changes temperature very quickly. So this will slowly go up maybe to 50 degrees and this will go down. It'll only be like 50 degrees in here. I'll be able to actually grow plants in here if I wanted to. Uh, but yeah, the temperature's flying down and the water's only very slowly going up. I, I'm tempted to air cycle this room. This is actually a good room. Um, it served its purpose anyway. It's done its job. Let's get out of here. A uh, big whoosh of air is about to come in. Uh, here we go. Swap. Okay, so I just heated my room up and my water up a bit. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be putting any more water into that uh, network, plant network. So unlike in real life where the water is actually consumed in the photosynthesis process, in this game it doesn't. Water is just a catalyst that's required to keep plants alive, but the no water is actually consumed. Um, okay, let's go. Whoosh. And there we go. So we've we've now watered our plants, our imaginary plants. A non-existent plant farm has been watered. Um, oh yeah, that's that's one of my that's the big thing that I wanted to get done this episode. Now it's more a case of well, I, the other big thing is I want to fill this greenhouse with hydroponics. I want to get it all ready to go for plants, and uh, we need to um, pave the way for communications because uh, there's no point having a beautiful greenhouse if there's no plants in it obviously so uh, the more thing I want to do uh, the thing I want to do now is I want to move all these machines around the corner there uh, and set up where I think my airlock is going I think there's going to be a wall here airlock here there's going to be a gap here and like I said I think I'll move my battery into this gap this weather station is going to be all ripped up and I think I might stick it uh, pr probably out here somewhere might be in the way. I might need two more frames and just plonk it there. And the logic, I don't know where the logic's going. Somewhere where I'm not using. Behind here, maybe. I might uh, fill a frame in here. This is getting very ex expensive steel-wise. I'm going to need, what, one, two frames, three, probably three frames. I'll get four frames and four sheets. I'll put that in now. Uh, you do Steel frames, yep. Yeah. Okay, four frames, four sheets. Oh god, look at my steel. The 18 minus 6 will be down to 16 after I do this. I, I can't. Yeah. I, I, oh, I also want some walls. Gosh, walls cost one each. I'm not going to build 16 walls though. I probably want uh, just to do some roofs. One, two, three, four roofs. So I'm going to fill that one in. I'm going to run that heavy cable that's in the way along a roof. I don't like floating things in midair, as you all probably have worked out by now. So, um, I mean, I, I float pipes in midair um, sometimes because it's necessary. But I don't, I don't like doing it. I'd like it if there was like a pipe stand or something. So I could stand the pipes on a pipe. Okay, that's three, and one more. Four. Down to 16 steel. I'm about to spend four more as well. Okay, one, one task at a time. So, um, I want to set up communications, but I need to create some space. So, I'm moving everything. And uh, part of moving stuff means building extra stuff. So, yeah, that, that's, that's good. My weather station will go there. I have to get that dirt out of the way. And I want one there. And tank. honestly, I kind of want to fill all these in. I, we'll, we'll see what my steel situation is like at the end. I might end up blowing all my steel uh, just just doing this. Well, I'm trying to... Uh, okay. I, I thought I was mining terrain away with a welder. That was, that was, yeah. I shouldn't tell people that. Uh, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Uh, just just uh, clear this away. I hate this dirt overlapping my frames. Get out of here. Oh, uh, I want to mine underneath all this as well. And find out what's down there. That might be like a gold deposit or something. Something awesome down there. Oh, well, no. I, I don't. I, I'm not going to. I'm going to try and resist the urge to waste like a whole episode mining underneath and through my frames. Uh, as I say that, of course, you're watching me mine through my frames. 
Okay, okay, good, good enough, good enough. Just, we'll just get rid of this little bit here. Okay, yeah. Slowly building into the side of this mountain. But no, my base isn't going here. Um, okay, that, that'll do for now. I'm going to stick my weather station like there, probably right in the middle. I want to move this cupboard. I want this gone. Where's my drill? Uh, waste tank's about to die. Let's do this. Oxygen tank's about to die. Let's do this. And let's drill this up. Uh, coal, just go on the ground for now. Come on. Um, it's just a little too close. So I'm just thinking, do I move it right back there? I just want it in a comfortable spot. How, how's that? How's that? That's pretty good. I have all my minerals there. My furnace is here. My arc furnace is in a pretty good spot. The only problem is I, I don't like that I have to come around to put my minerals in. I don't. It doesn't really matter where they pop out, but it's where I put it in that's going to be the most annoying. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to chop this up and uh, and move it, move it around. And this whole beacon is getting moved completely. So. Uh, this is probably what the rest of the episode is going to be, me just uh, getting everything ready. Hope hopefully i got enough time to plonk down the communications equipment. I don't know if I have enough time to wire it all up, but I should be able to find its location and plonk it down. I, I also, I desperately want to move these cables into, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to build some walls, make roofs out of them, and, uh, and run the cable that way. One, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And where's comfortable? Where's comfortable there? Is that too far away? Um, so I, I might I might just change it a little bit. What, what about here? How's that? Oh, duh. One second, one second. I need this thing like this. Yeah. How's that? So when I'm doing furnacing, I've got plenty of space. I can still walk through here. I, I'm thinking I should probably move this pipe across a little bit. Oh, that furnace would be completely evacuated by now, so I can start turning stuff off. You can be switched off. I assume this is evacuated. Yep. And you, my friend, should be just chilling. Yeah, cool. Another 1.25 kmoles of nitrogen. I end up with really cold CO2, but I haven't gas swapped in so long. This, this room, honestly, is like... I'd be at over 50 degrees by now. It's probably... 50, 60 degrees. I, I don't actually know. We'll find out when I get there. I'm going to take a get... Oh. I'll take a guess right before I enter and see how close I am. Uh, this is good. Uh, my water room's kind of out of the way. That's why I want to create, like, water shelves. And, yeah, my my warning system logic can be down here, I guess. So everything you see on the wall there, I, I'm going to try and fit, fit it in there. It only takes up three blocks. Um, speakers. I have to decide where my speakers are going. Okay, one step at a time. I want to move this. Uh, I need to wire my arc furnace back up again so let's let's do that then I'll move my beacon uh, okay that, that'll do if I can I, I'm spamming C again rather than using the keys uh, yep yeah, yep yeah. uh, this pipe is kind of in the walkway but since all these machines are being moved maybe I should just leave it there I really want it to, to be completely out of the way. This battery, honestly, is in the way. I need to move this battery just across a little bit. I mean, this is this was not in my intention, but it has actually become a service tunnel. And since it is a service tunnel, I want this battery plonked over here. It can't get too close. Oh, is there any water left in this pipe? I can turn that volume pump off. No. And I could sever this to get rid of all heat transfer into the room. I'm not, I'm not going to. I might, however, move this arrangement so it's pointing this way and my pipes curl it out and that way just to create a bit more space so I can get my battery as far into this corner as possible. And all this is being removed as well. One, one step at a time. Once I remove all these cables, I can fix this monstrosity. So I, it's going to, hopefully, everything's going to look really good by the end of this episode. It all depends on how much I can do. I also have to uh, complete these hydroponics. And I, I think I... Well, I'll make one more. One more hydroponic tray. 32 iron. So I, I can't start building stuff liberally. I, if I'm going to move these batteries, I should really do that first. Yeah, how's my waste tank situation looking? It's fine. And in the greenhouse, I'll hardly use any oxygen. 
I would like to uh, get this up here though, and we'll see what we end up with. So this is about to become really, really cold. This should be going down in temperature. Yep, it's ticking down. I can leave that, but I can't. I'm gonna make sure I, I keep an eye on it because I don't want it to be obviously icy. Otherwise, it's wasted. These these are about to be used. This is about to be used. Uh, let's change out my battery. Um, let's drill up that beacon. Just trying to think of tasks to do while I'm waiting for my while I'm waiting for my oxygen tank to uh, fill. I'm going to have an airlock here, so I want my beacon uh, right there, because this space is going to be free, right there. Yeah, that'll do. I'm not going to bother connecting it up because I don't know where the cables are ultimately going to go. Okay. Caution. Yeah, okay, okay. That's another thing I could do while I'm waiting for oxygen to get to 8 megapascals. It's there. Okay, good. We'll swap that around, and we'll wait for this to get to, oxygen, uh, to 8 megapascals. Okay, yep, good, good, good. I did fill this with water, right? Yeah, good. I might have to run my health down a bit because I don't want to enter my watershed for a while until I have my water bottles and water shelf done. Okay, that's it, that's all I want. Yeah, there, there. Uh, waste tanks. This is icy. And there's a lot of O2 in there already. Um, just to be safe, I'm not going to put my oxygen in there, what I'm going to do is just half empty these, just share the uh, share the capacity of the waste tank with this pipe, and just leave it there in, in just waiting for when I flush this, I'll flush this when I get out, that speaker has to be ripped up as well, maybe, no, I might leave that, no, I don't know where my machines are going yet, okay, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to juggle multiple things at once here, uh, but I'm all set, I've got lots of oxygen, I've got plenty of waste tank, tank capacity, I can spend a bit of time in this in this greenhouse. I wonder what temperature it is. Okay, quick, let's take a guess. I'm going to say 58.2. That's my guess. No, no, no. Yeah, too late. I've already guessed. What is it? 34. Wow. I thought, I thought it'd be a lot warmer by now. I, I'm surprised. Okay. I was wrong, but I'm, I was pleasantly wrong. Because the surprise was a was a good surprise. Okay, so uh, we've watered these plants now. If I hover over this, it actually says 998 moles. And uh, these things act like pipes. If you look at the front of them, you see there's a pipe running through them. So they connect up just like pipes. So if you just connect a, a hydroponic directly to a hydroponic, it's just like connecting a pipe. And it, and it glows yellow as well. See, it, it's green if it's in midair, but the moment I connect it there, it, it, it glows yellow. So... Um, yeah. Anyway, let's let's get the pipes in place first. So I know I'm going to want to pipe here. Uh huh. Yep. And I know I'm going to want to pipe. Okay. If you if you put your see that white dot in the middle of the screen, if you put that on the actual thing you're trying to connect to, it'll be in place. If it's off, it'll float in air past it. Anyway, so I'm going to put it on there, and I'm going to curl it round, and then push the wrong button. So that. Okay, there, put it on there, there we go, and, yep, there, and there, so, that's connected, I can now, so, so I can now connect hydroponics to that, yeah, these hydroponic trays, of course, have nothing in it, NA, these ones have 998, when I, um, I don't want pipes here, I want hydroponics here, when I connect these hydroponics up, it should all say 998, and there you go, 998. And now I can, um, okay, well, uh, no, I want space to maneuver. Let's get the last of these pipes in. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have room for those two. Let's just see what I do have room for. But, uh, well, this is definitely being connected up right now. Yeah. And let's do this. And that, there we go, and now we just continue these lines on, whoops, so uh, we'll see how many short where we are, we can fill the last few in later, honestly I could be doing this as the plants are growing, 
I, I probably should have put this off and did communications first. Uh, but anyway, no matter. It doesn't matter. And we'll get these in. And we'll see if we can get those N1s in there. I, ran, I wanted to put two there as well. Because I can. Oh, it's going to be close. No, it's not. There's four more here. Oops. I'm hovering over it. Well, uh, it's being a pain. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. And there and there. And I'm out. Okay, I was too short. I wanted to have a pipe offshoot here and two more here and here. I honestly, I don't need them. I, I can do that. I can put them in later. I could also stick uh, two more trays here and go right up against this, this wall here if I want to. Um, yeah, which I'll probably do. So I really need four more trays. One, two, three, four. And then my room is, is filled. There's lots of trays in this room. It's going to be one, one heck of a greenhouse. Temperature is slowly creeping up in here. Do I want hot temperature in here or cold temperature in here? I think I want it cool. Uh, so I'm going I'm to run this wall cooler for a while. When I come back in, it should be much cooler now. I, I, I need to know whether I need a second wall cooler or not. That's why I want to start the greenhouse cool. Uh, anyway, I've done everything in here that I plan to do. I can get out of here now. Um, cycle to exterior. My hydroponics are all set up, ready to go. My imaginary plants are watered. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was my goals for this episode. And also to get the, the place clear for communications. So let's see how much I can get done in the next uh, nine minutes or so. Get, uh, get, as, get as much cleared and moved away as I can. I want to clear away that weather station. I want to move those batteries. Uh, I've, got, I've got a lot of uh, moving stuff around to do. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty much in the clear, so I can just race to it. I'll, wa Hydration I'll wait until my last waste tank is half full before I flush that system and get, get that, those gases as cold as I possibly can. But yeah, tons of oxygen. Doing well, doing well. I don't need to eat. I do need to drink, but uh, like I said, I'll probably run my life turtle down. Um, so as much as I don't want to rip up my beautiful early warning system, I, I I have to because I need. I plan to run cables. See how I put these windmills back a bit. That was intentional because I wanted to be able to put a, a line of uh, cables along this, along here. See, I can put them there, but I can't put them there hard up against the windmill. So that's why I put them slightly back, right, like right ages ago when I put this wall in place. Um, okay, so uh, first I have to move all this before I can do anything else. Um, so I'm going to drill up angle grinder. Okay, I'm going to not. I'm going to angle grind this thing. Oh, that's correct because it has plastic sheets. I'm guessing the next one is hand drill. Yep. Thank you. There we go. Um, honestly, when I connect this back up, those circuits should remember this. Oh, maybe it won't. I'm not sure actually. Oh, but I have to connect the data as well. Uh, I was thinking right here. Let's just see how that is. That's comfy. I got my furnace area, my furnace locker, my furnace, my arc furnace, whatever station is going to go behind it. One thing I didn't check was where the light was. So I better rip this back up again. I want the light facing me. So is that right? Where's the light? I, I think I had it right the first time. Yeah, I had it right. I'll know in a second anyway. Uh, welding torch, plastic sheets. I'll know when I weld this up where the light is going to be. That's exactly where I wanted it, on that corner, so I could actually see it. Uh, but, I mean, once I get the sirens in place, I won't even need the light. Not that I even look at the light. Um, I can't get this connected to power because there's heavy cables in the way. So I guess that's next job is to, is to clear that. Uh, no, no, let's connect it to my arc furnace. There we go, there we go. Okay, this is shaping up, shaping up nicely. Uh, I just need to, I'm running a wall cooler right now, so I don't really want to disconnect this. I, I'm just going to go about a weather station. Is there anything on the ground? I don't think so. I think everything's off the ground, so nothing's going to get damaged. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, so what I want now is, 
What I want now is some walls. I think I want four kit walls. Uh, one, two, three, and I'm going to put one there. Four, and the heavy cable is going to run a lot right along the roof there. So there's one. So it's going to be like that. There's two. There's three. Fantastic. And there's four. Down to 12 grams of steel. What if I want to put more um, frames in? And there's four. Okay, let's finish these off with plastic and glass. Um, okay. And uh, I, I would like to... Once I've done my next big steel run, which will honestly be straight after the greenhouse starts producing oxygen, I'm going to make Constantan and Invar. And because I'm going to have a ton more steel, I can enclose uh, an area and start thinking about having an enclosed base. Rather than doing all my work out in the hot heat, I can uh, do it in a nice cool base instead. That, that's the plan. That's what I've got floating around in my mind. But as you can see, there's a, a ton of stuff i got to do first. Um, those are in place now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip up these cables here. Um, yep, and I'm going to move this battery across, which means I have to rip. I have to rip up a lot. Maybe I don't rip up the battery. Okay, right now the battery is disconnected from the main network. Oh, I wish I had the Mark One ply. I should just make some. I think they're like. You know, five iron or something. Maybe, maybe less. Might be two iron. I don't know how much they cost, but the Mark One uh, wire cutters are much quicker at ripping up cables than the Mark Two. Oh. Well, I can I can connect up my weather station. Um, do I have enough cables for the data? I don't think so. Oh, I, can, I know where I can grab a couple of cables, and this, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. <laughs> bye bye, you ugly looking cable bridge. I, I won't make much, much in the way of uh, cable profit. Two cables, but I got rid of the ugly bridge. Uh, that one's in place, that one's in place, and I am one cable short. Is there a cable I can quickly rip up from somewhere that I'm not using that I'm going to put back later? Um, oh yeah, look at all the all this is getting ripped up. I'm just going to quickly connect up the. Oh no, it's not all going to rip up. Oh, I, can, I can rip up these two anyway. Oh, why, why am I doing it like this? I'll just make a straight line. Uh, this logic, honestly, after the two batteries are being moved, is the very next thing to be ripped up. In fact. It's going to be ripped up before I move that battery there. So uh, I'm actually wasting my time here. But uh, I, did, I did gain some cables out of that that I can I can use to hook stuff up. Okay, so let's just spam C until I find the right thing. Okay, now will that flash? Is that f yeah, it's still flashing. Okay. Uh, the problem is it says no device. I kind of just want to have the warning system in place just in case. Where's the weather station? Come on. Looking. Oh, oh, I had it. Let's go back. Weather station. There we go. This is not working. Oh, this whole thing needs to be changed. Mode. There we go. It should be working again now, except my weather station isn't turned on. <laughs> there we go. Turned on. This should all be working now. I've just changed the input. So if there's a storm in the next... Uh, few minutes coming in, I'll know. Um, I'm at the end of this episode. Uh, I don't want to end right at this exact point because this battery is powering a wall cooler and it's not connected to anything. I might just get these cables in the roof now and uh, when I move the battery next episode, change it. Uh, uh, yeah, change it later. Okay, and waste tank critical. I got a lot of housekeeping to do next episode as well. I got to flush that pipe and empty all my waste tanks. I can't just emergency dump my waste tanks because the pipe is full. Uh, 
And I envision this cable running along the roof here. Oh, I'm going to have to move the battery. I envision that cable moving along there and, yeah, connecting up. You, you'll see. You'll see. By getting all these cables out of the way, it's going to make it much easier for me to um, connect up my communications as well. You kind of run cables everywhere with communications, and I don't want to create those horrible cable bridges. I, uh, I'm not really going to have enough cables to do what I want to do. Honestly, I don't mind if this one runs down. It's not really powering anything. We have a station. That's it. So, uh, ripping up those cables is fine. This one's a much higher priority. This battery that I'm connecting up now. With a battery that's about to be moved and I'm going to lose all my charge on. <laughs> There's another good reason why I should be running the wall cooler. I uh, get as much juice out of the battery now while I can. Because that battery is going to be completely empty. So get that, that room right down low in temperature because I don't want to run a wall cooler for a while. So honestly, it doesn't matter if I disconnect this cable, because that battery is hardly powering anything. My, my battery over there is powering my atmospherics, and this battery here is powering the weather station. That battery there is powering the wall cooler in my, in my greenhouse. Greenhouse is more important right now. Got to, got to have to make sure my greenhouse is powered. It's also powering the airlock. I won't be able to get into my greenhouse if that doesn't, if that runs out of power. Um, and yeah, I, I can actually get rid of this completely, so it just runs along the side of the wall there. It actually saves me some cables overall. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, uh, I need to hook this up. Come on, connect, connect, connect. There we go. That's good. And this, honestly, will just connect up here. My health's low, I know that. I'm I'm running my health down. Because I don't want to enter my watershed for a while. And this is going to just run along here and connect to this. And there we go, it should all be connected. That thing there should be charging. Is there a way of telling? <laughs> Anyway, I, just, I can visually inspect it. The cable's all connected up and going here, along here, and connecting to my giant power array. And this battery is going to be located where exactly? This corner right here, I think. And a cable's going to run straight down there. Straight down there and hook that up. But I'm going to have to rip up this logic and put it somewhere else. And that's a, that's a project for next episode. So, um... Uh, looking good, looking good. I can, I'm not, I, unfortunately I didn't get around to putting communications down. I'll be putting them all down next episode, I hope. But, uh, things are shaping up nicely. Uh, all these machines are going to be moved as well. Okay, everyone, that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll, uh, hopefully see you all next time. Bye for now.